Hello guys, welcome to Saga Frontier Remastered T260 Solo Challenge. So next we have to head to HQ. Uh, that's basically going to be two dungeons back to back. Now there is one specific preparation that I want to do. So let's head to Shrike and what we want to do is get the spirit orb from uh, Sage's tomb. We'll have to fight a couple uh, death knights, skeleton knights, whatever the hell they're called. But uh, yeah, the way D260 is right now should be a piece of cake. Spirit Orb uh, gives us very good uh, multi-target offense. Ideally, I, w I would like to learn uh, Mech Sonata or uh, Shock Soldier. But since, since uh, D260 hasn't learned it yet, might as well just go with this option. It's free multi-target damage. HQ itself is uh, full of goodies. There's no boss at the end. At least not at the end of HQ. But I'm gonna try and take the mech encounters so he, he can learn some more useful stuff. Because if possible, I would rather not uh, give up one uh, armor slot to equip the spirit orb. That would be a significant reduction in defense. Not that it'll matter too much, mind you. Alright, let's go to HQ. We are ready! So this place is just filled with uh, a whole bunch of rooms with a treasure chest and two mech encounters. Ooh, looks like the encounters have been upgraded. We're getting that flying mech now. Still completely within one shot range. No biggie. Why do those animals show alongside, show up alongside mechs, I wonder? Very weird way the encounters are calculated. Most of these treasures are uh, good as mech parts. But my, my philosophy is uh, just, just go with defensive equipment. Defensive equipment also seems to give, especially the power suit, it gives plus 50 to, what is it, plus 50? Plus 20, sorry, plus 20 to both strength and mobility. So T260 will be doing a shit ton of damage even with just uh, punches. But yeah, I just like to double up on as much defense as possible. So the, the, the mechs are near invincible. Look at that man, he's just shrugging everything off. And potentially the thing that could have done some damage, cannons and rockets, we've got uh, the evade skills for that. I think there's an evade skill for missiles as well. Holy crap. 
still nothing. Looks like the encounters are still way too low level to be able to learn skills reliably. Hey, got 69 credits. Nice. Oh my god, look at this mob. Thankfully, nobody got a combo in. T260 just does not have uh, sufficient HP. Remember that our combos will almost always ignore defense. And since I'm going with such a heavily defense oriented setup, that would be really bad news. I guess you could compensate for a lack of defense with uh, HP, but when you're taking that less damage, does it really matter if you've got 500 or 1000 HP? Anyway, just making my way through this dungeon, collecting all the treasure. Don't think uh, I even use that, or sell that even. Yeah, I'm gonna no part of that uh, huge mob. Thank you very much. Ooh, what's that? Still no skills. Hyper Blaster, I think that's one of the things we can sell in Scraps Junk Shop. We'll come back to that later. Ooh, mech has been upgraded. Holy shit, we can't one-shot it! Shit's getting real now. We can't two-shot it even? Who is this? Can we finally learn some skills? Ooh, Excel Shield might not be a bad idea. <laughs> Take a casual 5,000 damage to the face. And that is pretty much this dungeon over. It was just a bunch of rooms. And of course, after, after every, every encounter, we're getting a free, full restoration to WP as well. It's like, why not just make them even more OP? So we've reached the end of this dungeon, but looks like there's a virus. So next time, we'll be dealing with that virus. Later guys!